Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we are taking a look at an interesting figure. This is a Cyber Hobby exclusive dragon figure. His name is Flight Officer Peter Markham, and he is a Royal Air Force pilot from Hertfordshire, 1941-42. to 42. And I'm really loving these Cyber Hobby figures. I've been getting a lot of them lately. And um, they're just super unique, and uh, many of them are one-of-a-kind type of figures. Um, which of course makes them highly sought after. And this is one of those figures that is truly one of a kind. I've never seen any other dragon figures like this. And um, yeah, I was fortunate enough to find him off eBay. And I paid around $110, so not bad considering the rarity. This was the first time I had ever seen this one listed before. So I quickly um, snatched it. And um yeah, he's really cool. So let's jump right into this review and take a look at the box. There's not a whole lot to see for the box. As usual, these Cyber Hobby boxes, uh, there's not a lot of artwork except for this little picture here they have. And there's a close-up of his face. And then inside, I did leave a few insignias here. And then also um, the little Cyber Hobby card that they give you is inside still. And this one came out in 2006. All right, so cool looking box. All right, and here is the figure. And they give you this folding chair, which is really interesting. And then a dog, which is also very interesting. Uh, I think this is um, some kind of hound. Um, but the detail on this is really good. And then the folding chair, also nicely detailed. And you can get that adjusted in different positions. And then get the figure to sit down in it, of course, like if they show on the box. And I'll get better shots of this later on. It's a little difficult to show um, at the moment. Um, but yeah, really cool accessories here. I like the folding chair. That's really cool. And then the dog is also really cool. All right, well, let's take a look at the figure in more detail. There's not a whole lot to show here. He's very simplistic, so this will probably be a shorter review. Um, but overall, he looks really nice. And once again, this is a one-of-a-kind type of figure. So uh, for starters, let's take a look at his cap. That fits very well into the figure's head. Looks good. All right, and you do have to put this on yourself, this sticker here, which is a little hard because um, I had to put a lot of glue on there to get it to stick on there permanently, hopefully. Um, but it looks good. And then here is the head sculpt, nicely detailed. The Cyber Hobby figures always have very nice head sculpts. And as you can see, he's wearing his life jacket. And let me actually take this off so we can look at his uniform.
Uh, let's see if I can get this untied. All right, this isn't really wanting to come undone, um, but you can kind of see underneath, not really much to show, but there is his RAF uniform. You can see he comes with a whistle. And then underneath, he's got a sweater. All right, and then the last thing to show are these boots, which are very nicely detailed. I like the zipper, that's cool. All right, yeah, and that's everything for the figure. He doesn't come with any weapons. Um, so yeah, very simplistic, but a very unique figure, and he looks good. I like the cap a lot. And like I said, I will show a short clip of the figure on display with his folding chair and next to his dog. Um, so yeah, you can get some really cool poses with this figure. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, this is a really cool figure, and I do recommend checking him out if you can find him. He is a tricky one to track down. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.